Today's Joomla Art Extension tutorial covers the Amazon S3 component. This component will enable you to put all of your static content and media files, images, music, videos, etc., on the Amazon S3 server and Amazon CloudFront CDN. This will improve your site's page load speed as files are served from the nearest location to the visitor's browser. First up in the key features is the simple storage service from Amazon, better known as Amazon S3. You don't need to store and deliver your media content from your own server anymore. Now you can store your media files in the cloud on Amazon servers. Amazon S3 provides a simple web services interface that can be used to store and retrieve any amount of data at any time from anywhere on the web. Let's take a look at the multiple bucket support. The Joomla Art Amazon S3 component provides powerful bucket management. You can create unlimited buckets for separate file types and cloud computing. Let's take a look at multiple sync profiles. The Joomla Art Amazon S3 component provides a powerful preset feature called Profiles. You can create unlimited profiles for your multiple buckets, cron job settings, and media file types. When editing a profile, you can select a folder to be synchronized with your selected bucket, the file types to be synchronized, and also cron job settings. Now let's take a look at the CloudFront CDN support. Amazon CloudFront is a web service for content delivery. It integrates with other Amazon web services to give developers and businesses an easy way to distribute content to end users with low latency, high data transfer speeds, and no commitments. Amazon CloudFront delivers your static and streaming content using a global network of more than 16 locations. Requests for your objects are automatically routed to the nearest edge location, so content is delivered with the best possible performance. This is an example of using a static.joomlaart.com CloudFront domain with canonical names and aliases. When editing a bucket, you can set any of these aliases as a CloudFront domain for a specific region in the CDN. Component installation. Now we've seen the features, let's download the component and install it on the Joomla website. Visit www.joomlaart.com and browse to the downloads. Click Download and save the installation package to your desktop. The component and plugin installed together to make it easy for you. In the Extensions menu, click the Install Uninstall. Choose the file, browse to the installation package, and click Upload File and Install. Please note that the plugin is also installed at the same time. You need to set up your own Amazon S3 account and enter the information into the Joomla Art Amazon S3 component. Go to the Joomla Art Amazon S3 component and click New to add a new account. Enter your account information in the pop-up form and click Save Config. Check your bucket list if you've already created some buckets. We're going to create a new bucket for the purpose of this video. Click the Bucket Manager link and then New to create a new bucket. Enter a unique bucket name and it'll apply to all the links to your remote files. Additionally, you can set up a CloudFront domain if you already have one created. Click on the Save Config. Now we're going to click the Get Bucket List from S3 to check all created buckets for your account. Create a new synchronization profile and assign your new bucket to be used. You can create unlimited profiles according to each file type or update frequency. Click Add New to add a new sync profile. Now select the newly created bucket. Enter a profile name. Select Yes to enable a profile. Select the folder you want to sync with Amazon S3. We'll select Images folder for this example. As suggested, update the URL path to your Images folder. Additionally, you can set the cron job for this profile to be every minute, hour, or day. Click Save Config. 
Select all the files and set as enabled for this sync profile. Click OK. Your files are now ready to upload, so click Upload to S3. Click the Upload New and Modified Files. And depending on how many files to upload and the connection speed, this could take quite some time. You'll see the success and you'll be able to click OK. After all the files are uploaded, you must update the internal database to link to the images within Amazon S3. Just click the Update S3 file list. Now you're successfully updated the files to the S3 database. Let's check the front end. The images are now loaded from Amazon S3. You can see in the URL. And that'll do it. This has been a Joomla Art Extension tutorial. Thanks for watching. You can visit us on the web at www.joomlaart.com.